We're starting to get some colour in the scene now. I've just given it a first um, coat with the um, slate grey that I used in my previous uh, diorama. I didn't brush it on. I used a dabber because I didn't want any brush strokes. Didn't cover the matchsticks as well as I thought, but as a little test area over here, I went a little bit darker. I think obviously the wood for the match is going to be a little bit porous. So I'm hoping that in leaving this coat to dry, then I'll go over it. If this um, this paint isn't the answer, then I can physically paint it with with an actual colour rather than like a pigment. But uh, it's all experimentation. It's definitely coming on. So I'm going to let that to dry and uh, carry on next time. So I let it um, dry for a couple of days and I come back up and I put some more of the uh, pigment on the pavements and it was looking really really good it just wasn't covering the actual match um, so I didn't want to but I've had to paint it a solid um, colour I've just used um, a tester um, just up B&Q some slate grey um, emulsion paint matte finish um, So yeah, I mean, I didn't want to, uh, it, it was almost like weathering itself. It was looking really, really good the way I was putting it on with the dabber. It was almost weathering itself. It looked fantastic, but it just wasn't covering up the matchsticks. Um, so now I'm going to have to work on weathering the pavements over the top of the solid colour. And I think I'm going to have to do the same w with the road as well, because the, the, the filler just, it just isn't covering anything. But that's alright. So I'm going to put the... Uh, the tarmac colour on there. But the pavements are done, it still looks good, there's nothing wrong with it. Pavements are grey after all. Just need to weather over the top now. So I'm going to do the the, uh, the road now. So here it is um, with the solid colours done. It's still wet, that's why it's shiny. I've put the casting powder on the hill signs which I've done in a previous video, just to cover up the holes. I don't like the holes in the uh, the plaster cloth, so I put casting powder a mixture over the top. I've put some grey paint where the track's going to be, just for thoroughness really, um, in case the ballast moves or there's a bit underneath. Again, if you remember, I said I want to do this more thorough than the previous diorama. I want to do this as if it is the main layout. Now, of course, this isn't really the finish I was after. I didn't want it to be this single colour if you like before when I was weathering it it was coming up really nice but it just wasn't covering them uh, matchsticks so I'm going to have to do some weathering on this but it's not a problem I really like the way it's come up the matchstick idea is fantastic yeah it's looking alright I'm quite pleased with it I think it'd be alright weathering this uh, the tarmac the road drying out already and that's still going to be grass in there um, I've just done for thoroughness really so when I put the grass down it's just got something nice to stick to the the pub only comes to about there so what I'm going to do is and again you know ideas come to you as you as you're building I'm going to put some bollards um, cut down matchsticks around and do a nice display in the front garden um, with some paving slabs leading up to the actual pub. Yeah, so I'll uh, we'll see what it's like when I've done a little bit of weathering. So I've done a little bit of painting on the hillside, just the first layer of brown. Most of that is going to be covered in long grass, certainly uh, at the base of it. And I'm going to have the security fence going all the way round. But that's pretty much the painting done. It's just weathering now which I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that and to be honest with you I'm a bit, bit gutted really because I did really like the look it had and now it's got a solid look so I, I don't really know what I'm going to do I think what I'm going to do is start with a very very light um, and fine wet piece of sandpaper and just take the edge off the road going a little bit harder in different places 
that will bring some of the previous bass up that I did like and I, and I think that's where I'm going to start so again in how to videos everything goes to plan so I'm, pl I'm pleased in a way that it didn't go exactly to plan because you know you, you're coming on the journey with me as it were um, and get some hints and tips along the way so at the moment although yeah you know, it all looks good but this is not the look I'm after it's definitely not the look I want something a lot more realistic a lot more believable so let's see what I can do to achieve that but I'm going to leave it now because I've been working on it for quite a while so I do recommend that as well I'm a bit fed up of it at the moment and the worst thing I could do now is carry on and mess about of it because I'll just get fed up with it so the best thing to do is to literally just leave this now for a couple of days come back to it, everything's dry, everything's solid and a different different attitude towards it so that's another recommendation as well that I found with the last couple of dioramas don't rush it, as there is no need to rush this job so I'm going to leave that and I'll revisit it in a couple of days so we've got weathering stage one uh, how I did this, I put pigment the slate grey pigment that I wanted to do the pavements with the whole thing, I put that over the top of the emulsion and just rubbed it really hard um, until it sort of disappeared into the emulsion and it's given it a bit of a dirty dirty pavement look which I'm, I think I'm semi happy with with the roads, um, again, a bit of grey pigment over the top just to lighten them up a little bit and just lightly rub the sandpaper all over it where the, the tracks of the road would actually go it's coming on now, at least it's got a little bit more of a realistic look you can imagine that you know over the years the cars going around these junctions and I think with anything like this you need to put you need to imagine the uh, finishing touches in, I think when the white lines and, and if, I've, if I'm going to put any double yellows in will instantly make this look more realistic at the moment all my eyes are looking at is the actual surface I think it looked pretty well the grass is going to lighten everything up the grass on the bank is going to make everything look a little bit more realistic I said about bollards around the uh, around the front of the pub and I think what I'm going to do is if it's possible put um, cotton in between the bollards as if it's like either a rope or a chain and make it look like they've really made something on the front of their pub so that's, that's, I'm looking forward to doing that but I think this is weathering stage one and then I think another session of this and I think that'll be be good enough what I don't want to do is just keep on and ruin it it all looks good. I'm better. I'm more pleased with it than I was the other day, as you could probably tell. So weathering stage one. Right. So I've finished weathering there. I'm pretty happy with it. It's going to have a bit of a dirty road, but I mean, no road you drive on is is totally clean. It's got the lines there. With the track marks for the tyres. I've put some little bits in, like little road works. You know, where the road's been repaired in the past. And what also I did is I uh, carved out some little paving stones from the main road leading up to the clock tower. Which are all pretty good. Come up quite nice actually. Dug that out of a screwdriver. The polyfiller was white, so I just sort of rubbed that in and left that sort of white effect. But that add a little bit more interest to the the little scene there with the grass and the clock tower. But I'm quite happy with the road. It looks alright actually. Once we get the white lines in there and then dulled them down a little bit. So really, I think that is one of the next jobs, is to get the white lines in and actually see what they look like. 